It's Hip Hop at Lunch. We're here with Pill. All so right. I know Ozone Magazine gave you Mixtape of the Month, man. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Good Appreciate look, that, dude. Mike. So what was it like coming up in Pink City and trying to make it as a rapper? I mean, it was surreal, man. You know, it was because I was trapping, you know what I mean? So it, it wasn't just like, okay, well, everybody else doing the same thing. It was a different crowd surrounding me. So I had to have the mindset and the mind frame to let myself know that there's a bigger picture. You know what I mean? There's something else in store for me. You feel me? But that was my survival. You feel me? So I had to do it. It wasn't no other way for me at the time. And I took my shit very serious, you know what I mean? So at the end of the night, when I'm counting my money, I'm scribbling down, you feel me? Or I got the iPod in my ear and I'm writing raps. Or I might go down to the ham and perform with the little club on Auburn Avenue right down the street from Pink City and a whole lot of shit going on. I'm scribbling, police might be outside, anything. The red dog might be, com might be coming. I might have to jump the fence and take off running. So the shit was a whole, it was a movie, you feel yeah. me? And it was like, oh man, what the fuck I'm doing? You feel me? At one point, and it occurred to me that maybe I should just take my music to more serious. So I had to make a lot of sacrifices, you feel me? I had to make sure that I sectioned myself off from that shit at a certain point of the day. I might get off a plane and go straight back to the truck, go straight back to Pink City. So, and, and when, I'm, when I'm somewhere else, like for instance here, up in New York, it's a whole nother ball game for me. But when I get back down on the Pink City, it was, a whole, it, it was reality again, you feel me? And so that shit sat in and I had to understand that Trapping is rapping. And trapping and rapping is two different things. A lot of niggas can, can, can just rap about it or, or create a script in their mind and do that shit, but nigga, I really was trapping and rapping. <laughs> For real. Like, dead ass here, like, write my music in the trap. You can tell from listening to your music, man. It's all real. Yeah, it, definitely. It just, I mean, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna give the people no bullshit. That ain't me. I ain't that type of dude. I ain't that type of nigga at all. You feel me? So if, say for instance, I fall off this bike right now, bump my head, and that's what I'm writing about. You feel me? I can't, I can't create no, no imaginary story or create no fake ass script for the people because that ain't me. I wasn't raised that way. You know what I mean? And the first male in my family to graduate high school. You feel me? So you know what the rest of the family were doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so a lot of folks still deep in this shit, man. I just, I just thank the Lord for for giving me. The opportunity for one, I thank the Lord for blessing me with the ability to do what I do, and I thank the Lord for waking me up every morning. And y'all can go on Twitter and check that out. I thank you for waking me up every morning. You know what I mean? It's it's just a blessing to to be able to see how the people react to my music because I put out that tape and I was like, damn, I'm, I'm going to do it on my own. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna try this shit out because in, in the beginning. I was with Killer Mike, this, that, and third. Shout out to the big homie Killer Mike, grind time rap gang, all that shit, you know what I mean? But it was a time for me to realize that I'm a separate entity when it comes to me. You feel yeah. me? Because it's, it's a certain message that I gotta deliver. More so than I can do it more so on my own than with somebody else, you know what I mean? That's the family, that's the team, that's the brother, that's my brother, you know what I mean? I ain't no love lost between neither one of us. You know what I mean? We like this, but it's just like, it was a whole nother world for me, man. I had to go back home to Pink City. You feel me? I had to go back home to this shit. I had to go back to the West Side. I had, I had to go back to the three. I had to go back to Simpson. You know what I'm talking about? I had to really go back to that shit. After being in the, after being in the booth or after jumping off a stage, I got to go right back to that shit. You know what I mean? So, and seeing that shit, I was like, this shit need to be televised, man. Cause it's a it's a part of Atlanta that people forget about. You feel me? It's a part that the, that the city don't want you to see. That's the part of the city that got down. People drive past and lock their doors. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They lock their doors or if they walking through, they walking hurriedly. Yeah. They ain't really trying to stop. You know what I mean? So all in all, man, it it's a whole nother ball game when you come right there. A lot of these cats come over there. And they can't really. They can't really come over there like that without some permission. You feel me? Knowing somebody. And it's, it's real out here. <laughs> As they were saying in New Orleans, it's real out here. <laughs> you heard me. This yeah. you understand what I just motherfucking told you. It's real out here. And I ain't even one of them niggas that's just trying to tell you how real this shit is. I let the music speak for itself. You know what I mean? 
and it's it's a whole nother ball game with me. You feel me? And with your uh, trap going ham video, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about filming it. Like, it was it a fun day or whatever? The video turned out sick, man. It's appreciate clean, it. clean video too. Appreciate right? it. Appreciate High it. Shout quality, out to the family for that. But um, it wasn't no set. It wasn't no motherfucking actors. It wasn't none of that shit. I said, I'm going to take y'all to where I'm from. I hope y'all ain't scared. You know what I mean? But this is what we going to do with it. This what I want to show the people what's really going on. It's really going ham. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? So I said, we're going to pull up. We're just going to let the cameras roll. You know what I mean? We're going to let the cameras roll. So we jumped out, and that's what happened. Wasn't none of that shit planned. Police rolled through, tried to stop it a few times. You know what I mean? All that shit. Whole bunch of shit happened on the set. You can go to MauriceGarland.com to check out the back, the back, the behind the scene footage or whatever, and see what I'm talking about. But all in all, man, it was a great day for me because I was used to it. Yeah, you know sick what I mean? Video too. Man. I was used to it, and the, the camera crew might not have been used to it, or other people that came out to show support might not might, might not have been used to it. But that's 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 home for me. That's everyday life for me. I'm from the gutter. You know what I mean? And I ain't, I ain't ashamed to say that. I ain't ashamed to show that side of Atlanta. Yeah. See, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't ashamed to, to be from the dirt. See, you get a lot of glorification of the wrong shit, and people try to say I'm glorifying this shit, but no, it's reality. It's a portrait of poverty. It's something that ain't being touched on. You feel me? And the whole thing is, I'm trying to create a time capsule because that shit gonna be gone in a minute. They gonna tear that shit down. They gonna tear everything else down. That's one of the few places that's still standing. They already boarded Pink City up in case y'all didn't know that. Ran everybody out of there. My little partner Metro just got 15 years over there. Shout out to little Metro, man. Free Metro, man, for real. Hold your head up, boy, but just got fitting. You know what I mean? Thank God I wasn't there that day. I was out doing some music shit. You feel me? So it's just like, man, that trap going ham shit, I ain't even expecting to respond like that. Honestly, I did trap going ham, right? I did trap going ham to go play at the ham. The club called the ham. I just did it for the hood. I did it for the trap. I took it back to the hood, went to the little, the little, the little club called the ham, and played it fresh out the studio. And everybody fucked with it. In the hood, so I was like, well, shit, I just did it for the, I just did it for the trap. For all the niggas in the trap, all the niggas in the hood. You hear what I say when they first come on? Did it for y'all. And yeah. they all were like, yeah. That boy Sight, they call me Sight over there. You feel me? That's, that's another name. Y'all Sight, that's the hood name. That's the trap name. You feel me? It's a whole nother, a whole nother side of me that y'all don't know about. <laughs> Pill, just the music side. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, I just, I just was so happy. To see everybody come out and show me some love, man. I'm so appreciative of all the support that I get. I'm so appreciative of all the niggas in the hood that fuck with my shit. I'm so appreciative of y'all fucking with my shit. I'm so appreciative of everybody. You know what I mean? Dealing with that video and the response that it got, I want to thank everybody for even fucking with me on my music because it's a strenuous process, man. You got to really be from that shit to go into places that I went.